Hey there and welcome to my channel. If you want to see how I created this hairdo, let's keep watching. First, I'll be using my Cantu Shea Butter Leave-In Conditioning and I'll be applying it on my damp hair. Yes, you have to wet your hair, not like too wet, but make it damp a little bit. <laughs> Then going in with my tail comb, I'll be parting my hair and I'll first start to cut out a base, like cut out the front part of my hair where I'm going to do the high bun, as you can see what I'm doing. So I'll be using a rubber band to hold it firm so that I can get into the other part of my hair. At this point, I'll be packing back the other part of my hair into a bun at the back of my hair. I don't know if you're, yeah, you can see what I'm doing, but I'll be packing it back so I can be able to gel it down and, you know, I think the purpose of doing this is just to create that high bone at the back or just pack my hair in a bone which will enable me to fix my extra extension of ponytail. <laughs> And I'll be going in with my almighty echo styling gel and I'll be working it right into my hair to give my hair that sleek sleeping finish. <laughs> I guess you understand what I mean, but yeah, because my hair is a natural hair, so you have to use the echo styling gel to keep it locked in, sleeping, sleek, and in place. <laughs> You know the next step is to use our hairbrush to sweep it all down <laughs> using the hairbrush to lay my hair down to lay down my edges yeah to lay down to keep it sleek and making sure there's no hair strand that is standing out the hairbrush helps you take in the styling gel into the whole hair you know see the way I'm sweeping it okay I have to stop right here <laughs> Yes, girl, you're allowed to feel yourself. Dipping into my Kira Care Edge Tamer to lay down my edges. Disclaimer, guys, I don't know how to do baby hair. You see that circle, zigzag, spiral thing you guys do on your edges? I don't know how to do that. So please, if you can teach a sister girl how to do it, I will appreciate you. My durag is out to play again. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Covering up my hair with my durag to secure my hair in a sleeky position. And make sure you leave it in for 30 minutes. And yeah, we're back. Oh, glammed up. <laughs> I will be taking off a durag to, you know, reveal the slaky hair. Can you see that? Can you see? 
then going into the base which we cut out earlier on and combing it out so we can achieve our desired bun first off we have to you know gel it up lay down the edges make sure they are slicky slicky slick slicky slick <laughs> I'll be passing my hair into three to three down so I can be able to put in my Mali hair I'll be using my Mali hair from ST Hair and Beauty to create that extra bone at the base which I cut off initially on my hair and I'll be leaving the link on how to get your Mali hair in the description box down below. And you can create your bone in whatever way you want, you can make it as tight as you want it, you can make it as loose as you want it. But Follow my process and see how I created my own bone. One thing you can't escape in a hair DIY is your bobby pins so make sure your bobby pin is close by because you'll be needing them to tuck in your hair bone and hold it firm then i'll be going in with my afro kinky wig which i got from all things savvy this is the final step and i'll be using it to create that ponytail i don't know if it's ponytail that we are going to call it right now but you can see to create this fine look <laughs> okay yeah we're going to call it a ponytail so to create this fine ponytail i'll be using that wig and yes you can use any wig that you have be it a sleek wig be it a straight hair a coily hair just make sure that you start the whole process and achieve it flawlessly and also don't forget your bobby pins because they're going to save your life and make sure your hair or your wig doesn't come off your hair and voila this is the final look thank you guys for watching and if this is your first time here please don't leave without subscribing leave me a thumbs up and leave me a comment down below i want to know your thoughts i want to know if you want me to create any other look and don't forget to hit that tiny bell beside it to turn on your notification on i love you guys <laughs>